The EU's vaccination strategy has been torn apart by Malta's Prime Minister in a damning letter sent to European Council President Charles Michel. Robert Abella warned the EU chief the European procurement of coronavirus vaccines was failing small countries like Malta as he called for a more balanced approach. The Maltese leader blasted the shortcomings of the EU's beloved single market as he claimed the system fails to guarantee a balanced distribution of vaccine vials across the bloc. Mr. Abella also stressed how Brexit has left his country reliant on a system that has so far fallen short of expectations, warning the EU's health shambles could spark the collapse of Malta's health care system. He wrote, the reality is that a genuine single market for pharmaceuticals for patients does not exist. Access to pharmaceuticals is dependent on the financial viability of the pharmaceutical product on the market of each member state. This has led to the creation of a long-standing structural problem, particularly for smaller member states. Unfortunately, with the United Kingdom's departure from the EU, Malta has lost its main legal vehicle to supply medicinal products to its patients. I am very concerned with this situation since shortages of medicinal products will undermine the effectiveness of our healthcare system. This is of even greater concern since we are currently in the middle of a health crisis. The Malta Prime Minister said he also wrote to European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, urging her for concrete action on more joint procurement initiatives at EU level in the future. It comes after the Commission chief was forced to apologize after she engaged in a bitter contractual row with the Oxford vaccine producer AstraZeneca. The row escalated when Mrs. von der Leyen threatened the UK with vaccine export bans against Northern Ireland by triggering Article 16 of the Brexit Protocol. The move was swiftly retracted and the contracts with AstraZeneca were published after MEPs demanded clarity from the EU chief. But the damage had been done. The Commission chief delivered a humiliating apology before the European Parliament admitting to her failures. But Mrs. von der Leyen tried to explain away the botched process on technical grounds. She said, there is no compromise we can make when it comes to injecting people with biologically active substances into an individual with good health.